okay welcome back friends so let's discuss about float left and float right property so uh, inside uh, the previous classes we have used float many time but inside this class we are going to discuss about this just a little bit more so I'm just going to insert a ptech here so let's just insert some text go to the browser lipsum.com i'm just going to copy in this section from here you can copy and paste inside the ptech you can save now go to your web page and refresh we have just some text here so let's uh, check the folder we have image or not because we are going to use image also here so we have just image bg1 uh, this not uh, good image we are going to use here just I'm searching for a student category student images and from here I can just take a student image any of this I can just take just the first one let's just take this one and you can just save image as a inside the same folder you can just select the destination to the desktop cssd folder by giving any name for example s student stu student stu dnt and the type is just jpg image i'm just going to close all this from here now you can just insert image inside this ptech for example img source equal sign of quotation and close so let's just select the image of student dot jpg and just set the width for this something maybe just like 180 pixel is okay and the height for this you can set the height to auto now you can save go to your web page and refresh so we have just the image here but you can see uh, I'm just going to use I want the image to be just behind this text the text should be here so in this case you need to just set the float property here so the float 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 is equal to you can say just left or right property so this is the solution for this one so you can see again this not working here you need to just create a class or you can just use css in line here style styletech you can say just the float property to the left for this image and save now you can save and refresh now you can see you have the text behind this image so if you want to use some margin for this you can just use margin from the right margin from the right something maybe like 10 pixel save and refresh now we have just some margin for this so you can just set the text to align justify or anything else from here you can just use a style and text to line justify now you can save and refresh so let's just copy this paragraph and image tag once again you can just copy ctrl c i'm just going to use and paste this once again this time the float can be right for this and here i'm just going to margin from the left so i'm just using here left margin save and refresh now you can see we have uh, image here on the right side we have image here on the left side so this is just the beauty of uh, the floor property sometimes you can you want to just move the image to the right sometime you want to just move the image to the uh, just left side so you can just add some margin from the top also for this margin from the top something like 12 pixel and for this one also you can set the margin from the top 12 pixel. 
save and refresh now you can see we have just a different style 12 pixel of margin from here and 12 pixel from here so you can see the gap here because we have used 12 pixel of margin for this so i hope you are understand how we can just use float property so for float property we have just float left and float right you can just apply this to the div to the picture to the any element inside your css but we have two value for this left and right so i hope you are understand how you can just use the float property inside next class i will come back i'll just uh, we have a short class it is about clear property so see you in the next lecture